after you've been recording for a while and you've accumulated a lot of projects and media files, then your iMovie library file size is going to increase. This tutorial will look at how you can archive completed projects and save them onto an external hard drive, which will allow you to reclaim some of your hard drive space. So, so let's click in the Finder, which is where you find the iMovie library. It's in the Movies folder, and by default it's stored there, and I have two iMovie library files. One of them quite large because I've been doing a lot of work in that one, and the other one was the original one. This is the one that was, was uh, created when I installed iMovie, and there's not much in that one. Uh, if you want to see what's in the iMovie library file, you can right-click and show the package contents, and then all of your uh, events and your projects and your media and any renders are all available there. Uh, I wouldn't be deleting anything from inside your iMovie library because iMovie is expecting to find things in certain positions. So don't do anything here. Delete and archive in the way that I'm going to show you. But at least you can see where everything is kept. So in Melbourne City, for example, these are all the, the events and projects associated with that folder. Uh, the original media is in there and there's some very large files in there. So there's a, a no, two, nearly two and a half gigabyte original media file in that folder. And if I've finished with that project, I really want to get that space back. So first thing you need to do is consolidate your media. So if you've been dragging uh, clips or photos into iMovie without importing them into the iMovie library, so without actually going into uh, selecting an event and then import, then your, move, your media may not be associated with your iMovie file. Before you start archiving, just make sure that everything that you've used in your projects is available inside the iMovie library. Now select the library and then go to File, Consolidate Library Media. Now if I have anything that needs consolidating, it will do so. If I've got nothing to consolidate, that's the message I'll get. I can say OK. I have no media to consolidate. So everything's where it should be. So now I need to create a new iMovie library on an external hard drive. So I'm going up to File, Open Library, and then New. And I call this um, Backup. Now you could call it whatever you want. So maybe it's your um, Summer Vacation 2014. Whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have to be called iMovie Library. And I'm putting it onto an external drive, which is connected to my computer. It's called Docbar. Um, and they've got you know, other places I could put it. So I could put it in any of these devices. I could put it into the iCloud drive and have it available there for other um, Macs to use. I'm just going to put it onto an attached hard drive and then save. And that creates a new library here with an empty event and the current date because iMovie libraries have to have at least one event in them. If I go and check in the Finder and into Docbar, there's the backup file. And it has a little bit of space, so that's taken up with internal things that iMovie needs to use because there's no data in it at this stage. So I want to copy some of the projects that I've finished with. So I've exported them and published them as movies. I don't want them anymore, but I don't want to delete them and uh, be rid of them. I might want to use it again and re-edit that movie or add more material to that movie. So I want to just archive it. So I'm going to archive all of these Melbourne ones. Let's go into Melbourne and all the media is in here that I've used taking up a lot of space. So it's all the media, all the clips, all the photos. Now everything that I've used is in there. The actual project is up the top. So there's been two movies that have been produced from this, this media and I want to archive them. So I can copy them. Before I delete them from the original library, I want to make sure they've actually copied over. So I'm just going to drag them into the new backup library and then drop that and then I'll take this one as well 
drag that one in and the photos. And you can see the progress up in the in the top here. So it's going to take some time until they're all being copied over and show the activity. So it's processing the files. And you can't delete anything from your original library until all that activity has been completed. So it's copying all the different media clips across to the backup. I can delete the empty event, so I'm just going to move that to the trash. Yes, I'm sure. So I'm waiting now for this to be copied over, and as I'm waiting, let's just look at its progress in the Finder. So the library file is getting larger, so it's now got 217 megabytes, and as it keeps copying, that file will grow larger. And then I can delete those events and projects and media from the current iMovie library. Now you can have more than one iMovie library open at one time and you can switch between them. It might get a bit confusing. You can close them up with the disclosure triangle here. And so I'm just working on that one. If you're not using a library, then what you really need to do is close it. So I'm going to close that one but it won't let me because it hasn't finished its activity. So I have to leave it open. I can't do anything until all that processing has occurred. So we'll just come back when that's happened. And while you're waiting, you can check the activity to see how much longer it might be. And it's copying eight of nine, two minute video, one minute to go. So you can see its progress while you wait. So once it's all copied, I can close that library. And go back to the original. Let's go and see how much space it now is. So that iMovie library backup is now uh, 2.7 gigabytes of space. So when I come back to the original library, I no longer need these three events or projects. I'm going to delete them. Select the events, right click and move it to the trash, which is going to take all the files and the media and the projects and delete them. Now, if there's any clip that you've used within this event that's used in another event, then it will stay in your library. So you need to be aware of that. If I wanted to delete a two gigabyte clip from Melbourne, but I was using it in the ballooning event, then the clip will still remain in the library. So I won't retain the, uh, I won't regain the space. But I'm going to continue to delete all of these events that I don't want to need. Then I can quit on movie. So when I check the finder, it's gone down a little bit, 0.7 of a gigabyte. And if I'm not sure why it hasn't reduced any further, if you right, uh, right click and go into the package contents and have a look through the different events that are left. So I'm pretty sure there's a big file in this, in ballooning that I forgot about. So if I went into the ballooning event and into the original media, Here's a 2.38 gigabyte clip that I've used a bit of in one of my ballooning projects. So you have to sort of be aware that you might not reduce your file, your iMovie library file size because you've forgotten about something in another event. Before I went and deleted that, I would need to go and make sure what I've used in any ballooning projects. Got that, open that project. At first glance, I can't really see anything that comes from that large file. If I was sure that that clip wasn't really being used, I could go back and chance it, go back into show package contents, into ballooning and into the original media and delete that, move it to the trash. You can see the size has been reduced. So if your library size doesn't decrease, then you can always do that. It's a, it is a risk, though, because something else might be using it. And then I can see there that there was something in that event. Here it is here. It can't find it. It's gone. It's missing because I've deleted it. 
I'll move it to the trash too. Because nothing was using it in the actual project, it was just in the event. So it can be a bit of a nightmare if you don't do it properly or you don't back up first. Make sure everything is in the archive before you start messing with the original. So in this tutorial, we looked at how you can archive your projects and media and movies. So that's all for this tutorial.